This is a Sunfire T2000 and I'm going to show you how to get into the system and properly replace the service processor's battery. The service processor, also known as the system controller, is a device within the server that acts as a command center. The service processor has many purposes. It can send out alerts when the power supplies or hard drives are bad, diagnose problems, and even be used as a tool to look at the system console. Depending on the server, it can have many specific functions. You will need very few tools for the job, an anti-static pad, an anti-static wristband, a plastic pick or screwdriver to pry the battery out, and a new original battery. Using the small plastic pick or screwdriver is ideal since it will minimize static and will prevent scratches. Before you start, ensure that the power is completely disconnected. Once the power is disconnected, you can adhere the wristband to yourself and to the side of the unit. As you can see, the Sunfire T2000 is sitting on an anti-static pad. You'll want to make sure that you have this pad so you can eliminate as much static electricity as possible. It's highly advised to also use this anti-static wrist strap so that you don't damage any of the components inside. You can now remove the back cover. Simply push the button and slide the cover towards the back of the unit. Once the cover is off, you can locate the system controller card. You will see two ejector levers on each side of the card. Gently push on them to eject the card. Once you eject the card, set it aside in an anti-static pad or mat. When you are ejecting the card, ensure that you're not touching the pins on the bottom. Microscopic oils and dirt on your skin can ruin the pins. Once the card is out, you can now take your plastic screwdriver or pick and gently remove the battery. Holding the plastic screwdriver perpendicular to the card and slowly lifting can ensure your battery comes out with ease. Now that you have the old battery out, take the new original battery from the packaging and replace within the card. The positive side should be facing upward. Now that you have replaced the battery, you can now install the system controller into the socket. Carefully align the card edge to edge when replacing. In some servers, the card can be hard to put back into the socket. Gently push as to not break anything. It should go in with just a little pressure and care. Once you've replaced the card into the socket, replace the cover to the server. Before you power on the host system, you'll need to reset the date and time. Since you replaced the battery, the date and time have been completely wiped clean. Use the set date command to reset it. And you're done.